This is a troubleshooting guide for users having problems connecting their Ruckus access points to the Ruckus Cloud portal. At the completion of this training, you will be able to understand the functions of the access point LEDs, describe the access point and cloud initial boot up procedure, identify ports needed for firewall configuration, describe on-site troubleshooting methods, and know where to obtain Ruckus Cloud support information. Prior to viewing this module, the user should have completed the following prerequisites. They have successfully created a Ruckus Cloud account, which is paid or trial. The user has one or more Ruckus 11AC access points that they've connected to their local network. The Ruckus access point has been powered up with a DC power supply or is receiving PoE power from the local switch or router. And an Ethernet cable has been plugged into the local broadband router or WAN switch with DHCP enabled and connected to the Internet. The key to troubleshooting your Ruckus Cloud APs is to understand the AP's LED behavior. All Ruckus APs have five LEDs, which provide status information. They are labeled from right to left, PWR, DIR or control, AIR, 2.5G and 5G. On the right is the PWR LED, which stands for power. Next is the control or DIR LED. Older Ruckus access points use DIR, which stands for Director, which is a historical Ruckus term used to describe controller management to the AP. Next is the Air LED, which is only used when mesh is enabled. And finally, there is the 2.4 and 5 GHz LEDs, which indicate which radio bands on the AP are operational. If the AP has already been added and configured on the cloud controller, the following actions should take place. When powering up, the access point performs a series of hardware tests. During this time, the power LED turns red for approximately 10 seconds. Once a local IP address is received, the power LED turns solid green. If the power LED keeps blinking green slowly, this indicates a local network switching issue such as a DHCP or VLAN configuration. If the power LED remains solid red, this indicates a hardware failure and the AP must be RMA'd for replacement. The control or DIR LED provides connection status information between the AP and the controller. Once the power LED turns solid green, the control or DIR LED will blink fast indicating the AP is getting updates from the cloud controller. Once a connection has been established, the control or DIR LED will turn solid green. In the event there is no connection to the internet, the LED will blink slowly. If this happens, check for firewall, DNS resolution, or whether SSH or HTTPS protocols are blocked at your venue. Within five minutes, both the power and control or DIR LED should be solid green. This means the AP is successfully communicating to the cloud server. At this point, all is good and the AP can be managed from the Ruggus Cloud dashboard. Once the power and control or DIR LEDs are solid green, the 2.4 and 5 GHz LEDs will illuminate in an amber color. This indicates that both bands are available and ready to serve clients. As soon as clients associate to the respective bands, these LEDs will change from amber to green. If the 2.4 and 5 GHz LEDs are off, it means no SSIDs are configured on the Ruckus Cloud for this venue where the AP is located. This will also be evident in the Cloud Dashboard. Until the power and control LEDs are solid green, you'll have to troubleshoot locally where the AP is residing, and if you can't get the AP to connect to the cloud controller, you'll need to manually configure the AP as described in the quick setup guide that comes with each access point. This slide goes a little deeper than the previous slide. First, the AP boots up and gets a local IP address via a local DHCP server. If that doesn't work, the power LED will continue to blink slowly if this happens, check for local DHCP or VLAN issues. Next, the AP tries to get to the AP Registrar using HTTPS in the cloud. If it gets a response from the AP Register with the cloud controller information, the AP tries to establish connection to the cloud controller using HTTPS. If successful, the control or DIR LED goes solid green. However, if the control or DIR LED continues to blink slowly, Check your internet connection on your VLAN, DNS service, or firewall service blockage for HTTPS. 
If the AP has the control LED blinking slowly for a long time, it will advertise an open SSID with no passkey called Configure Me with the last six digits of the MAC address of the AP. This is associated to the AP and then you would browse to the AP's IP address which you can get from the local DHCP server. You can read the AP's IP DNS info as well as ask the AP to connect to cloud. This allows you to connect to an open SSID. You would connect to the SSID and then type in the IP address of the AP and it will bring up an initial onboarding portal. Next the AP reaches out to the cloud controller over SSH. From now on you can monitor the AP status from the cloud UI. Then the AP downloads the Ruckus Cloud image. While this is happening the control or DRR LED blinks rapidly. Next the AP reboots with the Ruckus Cloud image and the local AP image is wiped out. Then the AP connects to the Ruckus Cloud using SSH port 22 and gets the latest configuration. After this time the AP may reboot one more time. The AP's 2.4 and 5 GHz LEDs will turn orange which means that the SSIDs are being advertised. If they are off you'll need to assign a wireless LAN to that venue where the AP has been configured. And finally clients will associate with the AP. When a client associates to the 2.4 or 5 GHz radio the respective LEDs will turn green. If the power LED is solid green and the control or DIR LED blinks slowly this is an indication of no internet connection. By now the AP must have received its IP address from the local DHCP server. If the control LED continues to blink slowly, a common symptom could be that the firewall is blocking required ports to the Ruckus cloud. A firewall analyzes incoming and outgoing traffic against a predefined set of rules and port blocking. The firewall can open connections in both directions, in to out, LAN to WAN, or out to in, internet to LAN. Ruckus Cloud requires some firewall ports to be open in the in to out direction only. The following table summarizes common firewall configurations specifying protocols and port numbers. This slide displays the ports needed for your firewall configuration. This means that some of these ports need to be unblocked depending upon your network configurations. The first two TCP ports in the table are mandatory for Ruckus Cloud. The remaining are optional based on whether guest Wi-Fi services are configured. In addition, Ruckus recommends adding a firewall rule for fully qualified domain name or FQDN which includes the host name and domain name. The correct FQDN for Ruckus Cloud US hosted is cloud.ruckuswireless.com. Take some time to review this slide and then continue to the next slide. There are two ways to troubleshoot if the AP is not connecting. The first way is that the AP is never connected to the cloud which is a summary of what we've just covered. Here you would check the LEDs for clues as we've mentioned earlier, connect to the configure.me open SSID, update the AP firmware if it's an older version. The firmware can be downloaded from support.ruckuswireless.com. Step 4 is just to double check the serial number of the AP in the cloud portal. We have a mobile app where you can scan the serial number on one or multiple APs and add all the serial numbers at the same time. If the AP was managed by the cloud previously then you would do the steps on the right side of the slide. First check the LEDs for clues. Firewall rules may have changed. And second you can also check the cloud user interface event and logs for this AP for clues. The URL shown here is the up-to-date listing of AP models supported in the cloud. Ruckus Cloud supports both Unleashed, which are 9U1 SKUs, as well as standard ZoneFlex AP 901 SKUs. Starting in 2018, we recommend customers only buy the 901 APs for the cloud. If you are going to connect one AP to the cloud in an existing Ruckus Wi-Fi network using a Zone Director or Smart Zone Managed Network, turn off the Auto AP Acceptance option in your existing Zone Director or Smart Zone Controller before powering on your new AP for cloud connectivity. This is because any 901 AP is designed to look for local controllers such as Zone Director or Smart Zone as well as cloud controllers. Sometimes due to local firewall rules the 901 APs would fail to look up cloud as a first preference and then look for local controllers and join. If you need to recover a cloud access point after it has joined a local Smart Zone or Zone Director 
Then you would turn off the UI option on your Zone Director or Smart Zone Controller to accept APs automatically. Delete the AP from the Smart Zone or Zone Director. The AP should be factory reset automatically. If not, press the physical reset button for 10 plus seconds when the AP is powered on. When the AP reboots, it will look for Ruckus Cloud and connect to it. You can contact support by going to https support.ruckuswireless.com. Here you can use chat to talk with a support person. Use the phone directory to get the correct support phone number for your area which is shown on the chart on this slide or you can open a case online. If you open a case online, make sure you select the case type Ruckus Cloud. In this module, we have described the functions of the access point LEDs, described the AP and cloud initial boot up procedure, identified ports needed for firewall configuration, described on-site troubleshooting methods, and shown you where to obtain Ruckus Cloud support information. Thanks for taking the time to view this training module.